Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. My name is Mark with D7 where I cover drone tutorials and technology. So this is a major update you guys. These are things that we've been asking for and wanting has to do with enhancements to hyperlapse and also the addition of precision landing. Now there are some other enhancements they've made but they are not as significant and in some cases they are not actually implemented in this update contrary to their release notes. Please pause the screen if you like to see the other enhancements they made per their release notes. I'm only going to cover in detail the most important and helpful updates. Alright, so we're going to start off with precision landing. I actually took two separate flights taking off in two different ways. Here you're seeing me take off using the app. And you might have noticed that there's no checkbox to select whether or not you want to use precision landing, which kind of caught me off guard because I thought that maybe this is not something that was actually implemented, was stated in the firmware as an update, but didn't actually apply. But once I flew it and landed, you'll see exactly what happens here. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward here to the point where I start landing. All right, so now the drone is directly above the home point. It's going to rotate and then begin to descend. I'm going to go ahead and point the camera down, and there's the launch site. You can see the launch pad, the crosshairs. It's a little bit off initially. And then check out what happens here. You get this prompt that says precision landing, locating landing point. And so now it's centering on the landing pad. And look at where the crosshairs are, right on the landing pad almost smack dab in the middle there. I'll select force landing. And there we are. There's a landing pad and here's a quick video showing me exactly where I'm centered on the landing pad. That is pretty sweet guys. Now once I got home I wanted to try out one other way of taking it off and that's with manually taking off the drone. So you'll see that I'll go ahead and just use the left joystick to go straight up didn't hover, just went straight up and forward, and then we'll see what happens after this. I'll go ahead and fast forward here real quickly. So now I'm over the home point, the drone is rotating. I'll point the camera straight down. That red triangle is where I took off. You can see the crosshairs, so it's a little bit off right now. Continue to descend and precision landing right there. So let's try to locate the center point of where it took off. It's a little bit off right now. Check that out. That's pretty darn awesome. Now keep in mind that I took off manually, flew straight up and forward without hovering over the takeoff point and check this out. That is amazing you guys. So moving on with point of interest, they've added lateral obstacle detection. So I'll be flying toward these trees with my point of interest set at the top of this tree right here. Go into point of interest mode and highlight the top of that tree and hit go. I'll fast forward real quickly here. So now we're getting close to the obstacle. You get these warning messages and the drone stops in place. And lastly we have the hyperlapse waypoint task library. You'll see under the camera settings under the auto mode that the shutter speed is set at one second. It can automatically adjust to two seconds. The ISO I manually set it to be 100 ISO to minimize noise. If you go to the manual settings you'll see that the shutter speed can be set all the way up to 8 seconds. The interval for shooting will be automatically adjusted, so instead of 2 seconds, which is the default, if you set it to 3 seconds, 4 seconds, the camera interval will be adjusted accordingly. Now I'm going ahead and adding the waypoints. I'm going to set 2 waypoints here total.
All right, now we have the minimum two waypoints set. And as noted by the arrow, there's a save button. Click on that, and then you could type in the name of this waypoint mission. I'll go ahead and type in demo, save it, confirm it. And we'll go ahead and run this mission real quickly here. And then I'll show you how you can access the saved mission. I'll go ahead and fast forward here. Home point in 10 I did seconds. have to abort this mission because of the low battery. Now it's processing video the video and once completed. that's done you'll see a new icon on the bottom left of the screen as noted by the arrow. And if you touch on that it shows you all your previous hyperlapse missions which you could delete, load, or rename. This task library icon also appears as soon as you enter into the waypoint hyperlapse mission. Alright guys, so that is it. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate you hitting that like button. Got a lot more videos coming up, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. Happy flying, you guys. Bye.